Did you happen to see my tweet? I got two responses. One was from Semp, but one was from, oh, I forget his name. Andres Hale, I believe. He did a podcast oh, yeah. with yes. me day. We're halfway through the match, I'm like, um, how do you win? And he responded by turning the TV off. Yeah. Well, according to Wikipedia here, Bray Wyatt defeated Braun Strowman. Is that true? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> All I know sure. is they said this was going to be a swamp fight. And, dude, they fought for like 5% of this. There was a bunch of shit, a bunch of talking. There was a lot of talking. A bunch of bullshit. There was more fighting than in that uh, John Cena thing at Mania. Yeah, but you know what? That had yes. basic thugonomics. This <laughs> didn't. So that trumps this, and I hated that match. So that should tell you what I thought about this fucking thing. Th- I thought this was do horrible. Make things better, yes. This was so stupid. I don't know. Am I old or, or what? Well, yes. Or but... am I just <laughs> not totally fucking clueless? I can't decide uh, which. Although Go I ahead, feel Dan. young because I know I'm in the lower half of the demos watching these shows, so I feel youthful. We all are. I think if you added all of our ages together, we're still on the low end. Wow. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Unless Dan. they're getting, trying mummies these days. Yeah, did anybody true. else wonder who the unmasked dude was that was fighting with Braun for a while until they set him on un- fire? Until they well, be, they uh, lit the fucking guy on fire, <laughs> so I presume he was just some random Florida stuntman. Well, yes. yeah, but, but until they set him on fire, I'm just like, who the hell is this? It's like I thought else I, had masks on. I am with you. I thought we were supposed to recognize him. I briefly thought perhaps it is Timothy Thatcher, but no. It's just some oh. random some random lit on fire dude. All right. So it's Bray Wyatt versus Braun Strowman in a swamp fight. By the way, is this a title match? No, is Bray it's Wyatt the new champion? Okay. Well, at least there's that. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> I don't know if you can win the title by drowning. <laughs> you can lose it, I'll tell you that much. So Bray is sitting there in his rocking chair in the swamp. Braun pulls up in his big ass pickup truck. They're having a stare down. I couldn't believe he didn't back in. Should have just ran right over him. <laughs> a short swamp fight. Yeah, what he stop for? What an idiot! So they're having a stare down when the lights go out. Yeah, the lights in go the out swamp. in the swamp. <laughs> Jesus, including the lights on Braun's truck. They went out. So the moon. That's a good one. The moon went out. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Dude's got power. It's a man. rapid eclipse. So Bray is gone when the moon comes back on. Braun looks around. There's a sign. Beware all who enter here. You can see the shadow of the boom mic on the sign because just because they're making movies. <laughs> no, that that's a weird. Good movies. That's a long necked bird. So Braun goes walking through the swamp. Well, first he takes a rocking chair and he throws it at the sign. He's so mad. Okay. Yes. Uh, if, if you feel that's important, an important detail. I mean, none of up. this is important, Vinny, but we may Maybe. as well give the details. Who that's broke a fair the rocking point. chair last time? Someone else did, didn't they? Was I think Orton burned angle? it. I think Randy Orton set it on a fire. No, he set his the shed cabin or his barn on fire or something. Oh, who the hell knows? Braun goes walking through the swamp. He sees all sorts of wildlife. He sees pigs. And bunny rabbits. He has fleer eyes. <laughs> what? The, the what now? The fleer, like the night vision. I see. He's seeing all these fucking animals in night vision. Yes. yes. <laughs> Dude. Pigs and bunnies and buzzards. He is attacked by masked men. That that That's it. Um, in the middle of this, we cut to Bray Wyatt as Grandpa Munster cheerleading. A shovel... Hits Braun from behind. He goes down. He looks up, and the person who struck him is himself in the black sheep mask. Yes. Braun Strowman attacked himself in the swamp fight. It is Empire Strikes Back, where Luke fights Vader and finds he is Vader. So Braun wakes up. Oh, my God. This was the dumbest fucking thing. And and this is really saying something, because I watched all of WCW. (laughs) <laughs> he's sitting in a rocking chair and they're pretending like he is chained and can't get up. Okay. Yeah. Dude, he's sitting like this and there's a chain. Like it's not even around his upper arms. It's resting on his forearms. And I'm supposed to believe that he can't go like this and get his arms out. He's trapped in this rocking chair. And every time they cut to him, I was just 
totally, I mean, I wasn't into it anyway, but if I was, I would be taken out of it even further. How was I supposed to believe he couldn't get out of these chains? Well, even if he couldn't get out of the chains, it's like, it's a f- rocking chair. This dude flipped over semi-trucks. Yes! Just stand up and break the damn chair. We, we just saw him break a chair five minutes ago. So he's right. trapped. Yeah. He's drugged on acid, I think. Maybe that weakens you. That would I think I was drugged on acid watching this. Usually so, people br- drugged on acid have superhuman strength. So that's a problem. What are you signing for, Vinny? This segment. I didn't write it. My life. Bray arrives with his lantern and his theme song. He's walking around. The compound is decorated with, like, Christmas lights. <laughs> it's a much cheerier Wyatt compound than I would have guessed. So Bray goes on to yammer about Braun's 15 minutes. What Ironically, was he talking about? I think he was rambling for 15 minutes. He's not Braun's enemy, which begs the question of why I'm watching him in a main event swamp fight. They're going to rule together as society crumbles and governments fall. He is back from the dead. I guess the fact that he's back from the dead, does that mean no more Firefly Funhouse? I don't know. So this goes on just fucking forever. Establishes nothing. Braun says, I will never go back to doing your bidding. (laughs) Some creep shows up with a snake. Yeah. I think it bit Bray, but I'm not sure. I thought it bit Braun. Braun. Bit somebody. There's a lot of screaming. Well, the result of this snake bite is Braun wakes up. He is now free. He is next to a campfire, and he's fighting the masked dudes again. And here is where there's the unmasked person. Now, I am certainly not going to tell the professional stuntman how to do his job. (laughs) But if I was going to be lit on fire, I would want extra headgear. He's unmasked. He takes, like, some kick or something and just happens to bump right next to the fire and then rolls a little closer to the fire. And then Bray, I think, booted him in, and he, he's lit on fire, running around, screaming his full head off. And Bray, uh, Braun is laughing, but I think it was supposed to be Bray's laughter we heard. Bray then begins to hear voices calling him home. And he looks around, and there's a shack off of the distance, and he sees a vision of a woman in a veil. And I'm sure we're all supposed to think it is Sister Abigail. But she pulls up the veil, and he sees Alexa Bliss. Throw back to the mix match challenge. Yes, he, the, the mix match challenge is now part of this storyline about the swamp fight. The story is Braun is apparently this hot for Alexa Bliss, and I can't hold that against him. But he's so distracted by this that he's losing focus in his swamp fight, where it may have been lit on fire now. And he advances towards Alexa, apparently thinking that she's just going to seduce him here in the swamp. Uh, Bray attacks him. He I fights. can't believe that they turned this Alexa thing into a storyline on television. Like, in the entire time that they've been on national television, we've maybe got five minutes of Braun and Alexa being together in a segment and teasing the shit from Mix Match Challenge that seriously got... I think it started at 60,000 viewers and by the end was down to like 30,000 viewers. I mean, n- maybe 10. Nobody was watching... Mixed Match Challenge. And that's like total numbers where, you know, if you start and go, fuck this shit and turn it off, you count as a person to watch the whole thing. So, like, the number of people that watched all of the matches, I mean, it may as well have been the same number of people that are watching this right now. And they're doing a fucking callback to this. Like, whenever I see people going, oh, man, this was awesome, Brian. I don't know you don't like it. It's like, because you're one of the thousand people that are so hardcore that, like, you're into this Alexa Bliss Braun Strowman thing. Nobody else gives two shits about this. It's never been a TV storyline. They've never talked about it on television to any real degree. This is bullshit. Brian is literally frothing at the mouth. I was frothing there for a second. Ranting about Braun Strowman and Alexa. So, like, Braun that's the and... problem with this match. <laughs> Braun and, like, yes. Well, I mean, it's a problem. It's on the list. So Braun and Bray are fighting. Suddenly, Bray is slammed into what appeared to be a dilapidated boat. It's Skarsgård! Yes. So they are fighting in the boat, and the boat, I guess, just disappears into the swamp. And Braun thinks he has won. Turns to go back to his truck. But the boat begins to return. And Braun is curious. And he begins to wade through the swamp water 
towards the boat. If he would have just left, would he have won? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> what a dummy. Yes. So he gets to the boat, and the boat is empty. And I'm already thinking about Skarsgård. I'm already thinking about the Hardy compound. I think if the fiend pops out of the water behind him, this will all have been worth it. But no, they couldn't even do that. Bray hits him with an oar, and he didn't pop out of the water to do it. I guess he snuck up on him by waiting and hit him with an oar. They start fighting in the water, trying to drown each other. There are gators and snakes there. Now they're fighting on the dock. They've, each guy thinks the other's dead for a while. Braun Is throws... Is this over yet? Yeah, almost. Almost. Dude. Braun throws Bray into the swamp, says, It's over. And the graphic appears on the screen. Uh, that's the finish. It's a dunk tank match. You throw the guy in the drink and you win. But then Bray reaches up, grabs the mandible claw. Actually, pulls... Vinny, they show the closing graphic. They actually go off Thank here. You. It fades to black. Thank you. Yes. And then it comes back. They keep fighting. There's more, everyone. It is a horror show. So they're fighting in the water, and they're coming back up, and one of them surfaces, but they're both white dudes with brown hair and beards. I can't tell which one it was. And suddenly the water is red, so we're either in an under-swamp volcano or hell. Or and both. The fiend, and the fiend emerges, and he laughs. Somebody says, let me in. And that actually is the end of the show. So it was Except, the pool of reincarnation, though, because he came out a different person. That's true. It may have been. May, uh, maybe the swamp is in Carolina. I don't know. As somebody on the Twitch chat noted, they treated Matt Hardy like shit and then stole all of his ideas. Yep. <laughs> that is a fact. That is a fact. So the show phase to black. It's officially, it really is over. It's done. We're, the, the, ex, the horror show at Extreme Rules is no more. The next image you see as the next show begins is The Undertaker in his gear, standing atop a distant hill. <laughs> like, that's so totally fitting. Yeah. We're, we're just going to do fairy tales now. So listen. Did I enjoy the swamp fight? Not particularly. But they're not even trying to do wrestling matches anymore. So if you like whatever the hell this was, great. I can't say it's a bad thing of what they were trying to do, except when the shadow of the boom mic was in the sign. But it's just, it, it is what it was. And I guess some people think that's cool. Well, Vinny, I think you're an idiot. I know. They promised me a match, a swamp fight, and I got another shitty vignette. And it's not even one of those good vignettes. This was nothing like what Matt Hardy used to do. This was the main roster version of one of these wacky cinematic movies. But as much as they talk about how they make movies, like if you actually watch any movies, I mean, every fucking movie on the planet is better than this shit. Like, I did. Who did it get over? Did it get Braun over? Did it get Bray over? Like, do you want to see them do another match now in the ring? Like, this is going to lead to a match for the championship? Seriously, I'm sure there's somebody out there, but honest to God, dude, what is this? It's not wrestling. It's not a TV show. It's not like a good TV show. It's not like a good movie. It's not a good vignette. I don't even know what it is. When it was over, I thought, I am too old for this. Like, I just can't watch this shit anymore. It's awful. But I got to do it. I got to watch the show again tomorrow. I mean, you know what makes me mad really about this? It's when the show is over, I was like, I fucking hate this shit. I don't want to ever watch it again. But you know what? Before the match started, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking, you know what? There was some good wrestling on this show. The... The Sasha match was good, and the Tables match was good, and the Ziggler-Drew match was good, and, like, all of these wrestlers are working their asses off, and, you know, some of the finishes are dumb, and some of the stips are stupid, but, like, there was some good wrestling on the show. By the time this thing was over, I was like, dude, why is anybody wasting their time with this? That's how much I hated this. Well. I thought it totally sucked, and it made me hate a show that before the match aired, I was actually kind of liking. That's my review.